Where's my best friend? Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be discussing why Brent Rivera is problematic. So where do I begin? Well, I guess where I found out about him, and that was Vine. R.I.P. The guy portrayed himself as this goofy teen who did skits about how he could never get girls. Really original, I know. Mom, remember that girl that was flirting with me? You mean the one that asked you for the homework? Uh, well I texted her and asked her out. And? She blocked me. Brian, you're a loser. That wasn't funny! I genuinely cannot take him seriously. Those facial expressions, that guy deserves an Oscar. Like many other hilarious Viners, he moved his audience to YouTube. Not sure if you can sense the sarcasm in that. Mr. Brent 98's YouTube career began six years ago where he started with pretty innocent content of challenges and tags. And I can't really criticize him on that content because that was literally what every YouTuber was doing. So how can I expect Brent to do any different. But as the years went on, he realised that he may be attractive, and that's where all the topless pictures and PG sexual videos began. I never thought that I'd be saying those two words together. Brent is ugly. The guy has a very young audience, because who else would want to watch that type of content? His whole genre of videos are on how to know if a guy likes you. It's just strange and cringeworthy. And this begs the question, why is this adult monetizing off hormonal teens who have no idea how to pull together a sentence in front of their crushes? He does it in a smart way though, to keep it under the radar and not be caught out by making it seem lighthearted and comical. Nah, you've gotten away with it for way too long. I feel like this type of content is only celebrated in America because if some guy was doing this in the UK, commentary channels would be all over him. This would probably be his response. I have had it now. I am beyond what I am willing to accept. And it's not like Brent is a small channel. He has 7 million subscribers and his social blade is hella green with videos getting millions of views every single week. The guy is really smart and he saw a hole in the market and made it work for him. Brent portrays himself as a sweet, innocent guy who's just your friend, but he's a smart business guy who knows how to keep his audience watching. Let's begin with his rumoured romance with My Life is Ava, who I have also made a video on. Guess all these cringy YouTubers run in the same circles. Anyway, he has clickbaited this relationship so much there are many videos on it, and Ava even changed her Twitter name where she declared she was dating Brent. Great stuff. I would not be surprised if this was all fake because surprise surprise they also have a series on awesomeness TV. The devil works hard but Brent works harder. Anything to stay relevant, right? Oof. Yeah, Here are a few clips of their clickbaity relationship. I feel like our relationship is like a Wattpad fanfic. Being the smooth guy I am, I went up to her and I kind of swept her off her feet a little bit. I don't like looking at her and stuff and like being the cool guy. What the heck? Wait, do it one more time. Ew! It's wet! Wait, is that wet? Wait, do it one more time. Oh no! Were you ever jealous of anyone that I started dating? No. <laughs> yeah. No. Not sure. <laughs> I don't care. I usually would let this type of content slide, but his content has become kind of creepy. Let's begin with how he romanticizes his 17 year old sister with one of his friends. They have this thing of, are they dating? Aren't they dating? Hmm, sounds kind of familiar. His Instagram skits show him as this overly protective brother that gets annoyed when his sister kisses a guy. But let's not forget that these are his ideas on his account, so he's pretty much setting up his younger sister to kiss this guy. I have no idea if they're really dating and it truly doesn't matter because why would any brother want to see his sister kissing some other guy or even let millions of others watch? <laughs> I'm sure he'll use the argument that it's meant to be lighthearted content or for entertainment purposes, but it's just awkward to watch. Content like this is weird in general, but if it was just these two, then whatever. But the fact that Brent has wedged himself in is just 
kind of creepy having his sister as the love interest in his content should not be okay and it doesn't end there he has also made youtube videos on their young teen relationship by putting the word boyfriend in speech mark either confirming that they're together or not he just wants to keep the mystery going as if they're like this reality tv producers i'm sure his teen fans will come after me and be like it's true love Brent isn't exploiting them, but he is. I don't want to paint his sister as his victim of her brother, but these are creepy video ideas because I'm not sure if it's that deep or not, but even so, he shouldn't be going with the storyline. But then again, his whole career is built on tacky relationship advice. This links into my next point. Here we have a 21 year old guy who's making content steered towards young teens. From his videos, you can tell he's putting on a character of this overly smiley guy who just wants to get the perfect shot, which isn't a bad thing because 90% of YouTubers do the same thing. You can tell that his content isn't what he would watch. It's just what he thinks people would want to see, which is sad because YouTube has become this massive business and having somewhat clean cut videos is what will get you big and out there, even if your soul is not in it. His content has changed in the six years that he's been on YouTube, but they've all kind of had the same theme, but it's worked out for him. And that's because there will always be teens wanting to know if a guy likes them. And instead of figuring it out for themselves, they'll watch videos by guys like Brent. So when it comes to real life, and the guy or girl they like doesn't do what Brent says in his videos, they're left without knowing what to do next. He's the king of those guys who think they have the credentials to give out advice, but do it in a jokey way so it's not that serious, right? And yes, I know he's making it kid friendly, but it doesn't mean he's not doing the same thing as all those other relationship channels. He's pretty much a guru at this point. His videos as a whole are meant to be these kind of quirky high schoolish videos that give out tips to like skip school and things that he did as a kid. I know guys, this is normal content for a 21 year old to be making. It's sad to be seeing Brent make videos that are overdone and unoriginal. I do not want this to get worse. <coughs> Fine. But if your parents don't fall for this one, you can turn it up a notch with the fake fever. Here's what you need to do. Get a washcloth and run it under hot water. Then place it on your head. Then call your parents over. Mom! Like, bitch, please. I prefer not to make takedown videos, but the guy needs to stop using his sister as this person that can be sexualized and used as this female crush in his videos. She's 17 to begin with, and she's your damn sister. Be a little bit protective over her. This stuff shouldn't be broadcasted to millions. Just a little bit more respect. And this ties into how light-hearted content can actually be worse than you think. Don't even get me started on this guy's merch. $44 for his initials slapped on a hoodie. Real creative. If you're gonna make merch, at least put a cool design on it and maybe mark it at a fair price. It's like these YouTubers are out of touch with the rest of society. It's sad because people are not even buying the merch because of the design, but because they love the creator. So you would hope that they would have the decency to make decent merch. And I know fashion is all down to perspective, but anyone with eyes can see he's ripping off his fans. I think it's very easy to bash on big YouTubers, but I don't think Brent's that bad, at least not compared to the other crazy on YouTube. My tips for this guy is not to sexualize his sister and have her as the crush in the video and maybe make some merch that's worth $44. It's just lazy at this point. Slapping your initials on a hoodie isn't good enough and you shouldn't stand by that. And his content seems like it's not gonna change. It's kind of been the same for six years and I'm sure he's making bank. So why would he change? So Brent is a Vine star turned massive creator on YouTube who doesn't make the best content, but isn't that what every big YouTuber does? You gotta do something shady to get at the top. Brent has the chance to easily change up his content and make something that's worthwhile and content that average 21 year olds would want to be watching. Sadly, it's not always as easy as that. Sometimes views and subscribers get into a creator's head more than the content. 
anyway i think i'm gonna end the video there thank you so much for 100 subscribers it means a lot to me i recently put out a video called why tyler oakley's channel died where i look at why his social blade has been plummeting and why the views are just no longer matching up but yeah thanks for watching this video please like and subscribe i'm gonna put my twitter up here and yeah have a great day are you kidding me this is ridiculous i quit yeah.